Hello friends, in this lecture, we will know how to create the basic sketches in Inventor. So to create the sketches, first of all, we will have to go to the sketch mode. To go to the sketch mode, click on this part. And now we can see different tabs. In the tab, we have 3D model and then sketch. So I click on this sketch. In this sketch, we can see we have different options of creating the sketches. The first tab is for creating the sketches. After that we have option of modifying the sketches then creating pattern and constraint. So in this lecture we will know about the first basic sketch that is line. So we can find this line command here. I click on this arrow. We can find line, spline, spline, interpolate etc. I will select this option of start 2D sketch. So now if I click on this arrow we will find two options, 2D sketch and 3D sketch. So we will talk about this 3D sketch later in the course. Right now I will click on this start 2D sketch. So click on this. And now we can see three default datum planes are highlighting. So when we create any sketch, we create the sketch on a datum plane. So this is a top plane that is XZ plane and that is XY plane and that is YZ plane. So let's say I will select this exit plane. So select this top plane, click on this and then the plane will rotate to a 2D view. And now I go to this create panel, click on this arrow and then click on line. As we already know, to create a line, we need two reference point. So we need to select two point. Suppose I click here for the first point, I click here and now we have specified the first point and then drag the mouse and when I drag the mouse we can see the preview of a line. Along with this line we can also see the dimensions and then we can also see the angle value. And now we have to specify the second point of the line. So I click here for the second point and in this way we have drawn the line. When I drag the mouse once again we can see the line chain is continue. So we can continue making the lines. Once again, just click here for the second point and another time click. So in this way we can draw the lines. Now to exit from the line command, we have two options. We can press the escape key from the keyboard or we can make a right click and then we can click on this option of cancel. I click here and click on cancel. So now we have drawn the line. Once again, I select this line command, click on this line and let's draw line once again. So this time, this will be my first point of the line and this end point will be the second point of the line. So in this way, we have created a closed loop and then press escape and then let's pan here. So hold down the roller of the mouse and drag it. In this way we can pan. So once again I go to line and I draw a line like this. So I will select the first point and then when we select the second point, we can see we have two dimensions. So the first dimension is the length of the line and the second dimension is the angle value. So if I insert this value, let's say I take this value 1. And now we can see this line is of 1 inch and then if you want to specify the angle, so press the tab key from the keyboard and then insert this angle value. So I insert this values 45 and press enter and then press escape and then let's pan here. So in this way we have created a line that is of 1 inch in the length and its angle with respect to the vertical axis is 45 degree. So if you want to make some changes into these dimensions, we can double click on the dimension. So make a double click on the dimension. Now in this edit dimension panel, we can change this dimension. Suppose I want this value 1.5 and then press enter. And now we can see the length of line is changed. Similarly, we can also make some changes into this value of angle. And then once again I draw line 
draw a line like this from this first point to second point and then press escape. So if we want to insert dimensions into this line, for this click on this dimension tab from this dimension option and then we have to select the geometry. So this time the geometry we have is the line. So pick this line and then make a click on this. And now when I drag the mouse we can see the preview of the dimension. So when I drag it to the left or we can see the left dimension. Similarly we have the right dimension. So just place it. Let's say I click here. So this is the vertical length of this line. So once again if we want the exact length of the line we need to select the point. Select the first point and then select the second point. When I click here we can see the exact length of the line. So I can click here once again. So in this way we can insert the dimension and if I make a double click on this as we have already discussed we can change this value of this dimension. So I click OK and then let's pan once again. So I go to line command once again. I'll draw the first point of the line and then second point. So I draw one more line. So this is the line chain. I draw a line like this and then press escape. And then I go to line. I select this first point. If we want to trace any reference point of the existing sketch. For this in inventor we have some options. If I make a right click and I go to this option of point snap, we can find the option of end point, mid point, intersection, apparent intersection, center, quadrant etc. So if you want to draw this line up to the midpoint of its opposite line. So I will have to select this midpoint option and when I drag the mouse and take the mouse onto this line, it will only trace the midpoint of this line. So I click here and now we can see we have created a line up to the reference. Similarly if I draw a line once again so take the line command once again line. So if you want to trace the end point so just take the mouse to the line make a right click point snap and click on end point and then select this line. So this is the end point and along with this the software automatically tries to snap the point. I click here and in this way we can see we have snapped the point. So press escape and if we want to make the line of construction line or any central line. So I go to line once again and then I make a right click. We have two more options that are called construction line or center line. So all these two types of line are reference type of line. So if you want to create a construction line make a click on the selection and then once again select the first point and the second point. Press escape and this time we can see this is a construction line. So construction line are basically the reference lines. So these are some of the different options of creating the lines.